Well, hi, I've just come back from another really great Bodgers Ball weekend. And if you didn't know, the Bodgers Ball, it's the Association of Pole Lave Turners and Green Woodworkers. Huge woodworking event. Well, actually, it's not just woodworking and pole laving. It's blacksmithing, it's basket making and quite a few other crafts as well. And it really is a spectacle. We held it in Hurstman So this year. And well, in this film, I'll give you a flavour of what was going on. Well, we had a lovely grassy site and a huge marquee as well. But it was terribly windy and we were a bit rowed. Our marquee would actually blow down. As you see here inside the marquee, it's massive actually. It goes right the other way as well. Well, there's plenty of food and drink. And we always make sure we do these things well. A nice stone baking oven. Uh, someone had made a lovely cake for us with a Sussex trug on top, which is very appropriate for Hurstman So, which is trug making country. And I have put a film up on making trugs. Of course, there are lots of demonstrations. And here we have a very skilled uh, bowl lathe turner. So making a wooden bowl, the kind actually, as on the Mary Rose, features in one of the other films. There's a pit sawing demonstration here, and that was jolly good fun to watch. All these sorts of things, all from members of Bodger's Org. And scything. We had the British scything champion there as well. And of course, there was plenty of grass to cut. And there was blacksmithing, and I do love watching this. And just seeing someone else do a nice bit of blacksmithing, making axe heads here. And it's, it's great fun. It's great fun seeing the portable equipment they use and seeing the techniques. We had the charity Tools for Self-Reliance selling tools and of course everyone loves rummaging through the boxes and of course you know your money goes to charity. So what more do you want as an excuse for buying tools? There is also plenty of wood for sale as well. And it's always nice when members bring along their excess stock and try to sell a few things. We had an auction and people brought along a whole myriad of items for sale in the auction. And of course there were the craft competitions. And I'll pop up another film about the craft competitions because there's so many really lovely entries. We have wooden spoons and bowls as a taster here. But there was a good selection of chairs as well. and really a whole sort of range of country crafts in the competitions so well worth seeing that film when i've done it here's a bit of the tool making section as a taster and look at that forging not only the axe head from a bus spring but also making a lovely leather cover with beautiful hand stitching absolute masterwork <laughs> and a nice axe handle to boot of course, bodger inventiveness coming around all over the place, so we had good hand washing facilities. Kick the wooden panel and down comes water, and here's some cooking facilities. A converted gas bottle mounted on pistons. But, well, works jolly well, and why not do your fry up on a nice converted gas bottle? <laughs> it's either that or a washing machine drum, and that's what we've got here, and they're very good for cooking on. Nice washing machine drums, bowl kettles quickly. Lots of inspiring woodwork and I love the blacksmithing and woodwork on this little travelling chest. So that's a project I'd like to have a go at sometime. And it's great because you look around and you get all these ideas. Leather bottle making. I haven't done it. I want to. So another leather project. And what are all these mystery tools? Well you had to guess. I got a lot of them actually. Um, obviously a wire fence tensioning device. I'll let you guess for a second. What's this one? I'll say now. It's a debarker for getting the bark off. A set of pliers for pincing on fence grips. Try and guess this one. Lamb tails is the clue. Rubber bands to get rid of lamb tails. I did think of that actually. Didn't I didn't get this one. This was a um, planer sharpening jig and that one I thought it was for a horse, but it's actually for a sheep opening the mouth if you need to get medicine down a sheep or something. So there you are, some quite fun mystery tools they'd laid out. Lots of things like this here. Um, a lovely demonstration of a treadle lathe. And oh, what a lovely thing. It's like my sewing machine, treadle sewing machine. Nice and quiet and smooth and lovely turning. This is quite an old one, all hand forged blacksmith work on it. A nice lignum vitae pulley wheel. It, it was an absolute treat, lovely thing to watch. And have a look at a chisel. Just take a closer look at the chisel when he comes into view in a second. You see it's 
hand forged and it does as a planing chisel and a skew chisel in one. And that is quite a nice design which I think I'll have a go at doing sometime. So that is a, a nice interesting chisel and a lovely lathe to boot. And I think it may be available if you want to make purchase, <laughs> but it may end up in a museum. And another thing that took my fancy was this portable forge. It's an army type forge from the 1940s, 1942, 44, I think it was. A nice little blower on the side there. And a few little turns of that. The forge itself, it looked a bit like a loo in a way, a loo seat. As you lift up the flap, but it's lovely and compact. It's mounted on a little workbench and there's a vice there as well. So there you are, plenty of inspiration, and I'll put a few more films up showing a bit more detail. Hope you enjoyed that one, and thanks for watching.